Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we will learn how to prepare groundwater level map or depth to water level map using this Excel data in ArcGIS. Okay, so I have Excel data where we can able to see the location map, then latitude, longitude, then this monthly data, uh, this monthly data set I have. This I am interested to add into ArcGIS environment and I want to see some special distribution map like a depth to water level map from this data source. So what we can able to do this, this is the latitude and longitude is given here, but actually this is in a degree made second and uh, actual symbol is not given here, but this is 18 degree five and 21. And this 79 degree, our uh, 79 degree, 19 minute and 34 second is there. So this we need to convert actually into decimal degree. How we can able to convert, just we need to copy this and I will paste it uh, here, okay after that what we need to do uh, we need to select this and this 18 we need to separate 5 we need to separate and 21 we need to separate for that just go to data and text to column option is there and the text to column this dash line is there in between on the base of that dash line select this order select this dash line here okay so this will separate just click on next and finish now we'll see this 18 is separated 5 is separated Similar way, this uh, middle line we need to separate and this 19 uh, also, this is the minute and this is the second again. So we have separated 18 degree, five minute and 21 seconds. So this is my latitude. And just the formula to convert degree minute second to decimal degree is that. So degree will keep as it is, okay. Then plus minute will divide by 60 and second will divide by 3600. Okay, second will divide by 3600. So just click on equal here. So degree as it is plus minute we are dividing by 60 plus seconds we are dividing by 3600. Just click on enter. And here in the corner is there when plus sign will come, you just double click, double left click. So it will calculate for all. So like we'll calculate longitude. So equal 79 degree plus 19 divided by 16 plus the seconds divided by 3600 enter and just double click here. So now we have this latitude and we have longitude. So I'll copy this. I'll paste as a number here. Again, I will take this longitude, copy and paste it as a number here. And in the from one sheet, we'll take this our names, just copy and paste it here. Okay. So now we have pasted here. Now we need to paste this monthly data. Just copy this and paste it here as a number. So now we have all the data sets. We have longitude, latitude, then locational information, then the monthly data sets. Now we'll add this into ArcGIS. But before that, we need to save this in CSV file format. So how to save this in CSV? Just click on the file, save as, and you need to search your folder where we are working. So I'm working in groundwater folder. So I will save it here. I will save as a CSV file format. And here I will add that is a water level. And I will click on save. So now I have saved this in CSV file format. That CSV file format will open in ArcGIS environment. So I have opened the ArcGIS. This is my folder where we have added this water level CSV file. Okay. So this file how we can open in ArcGIS. So just need to go to file, add data, add XY data. From here, we need to browse our file. So just click on the browse. So this is my water level where I have saved in the groundwater folder. Just select this, just click on add. And by default, it will take longitude in X, latitude in Y. And in Z, we want to select which monthly we want. So I will take for the June. 
And the most important thing is that we need to provide here WGS 984, that is our datum. So just need to go to geographical coordinate system, world, and select this WGS 984. Okay. And just click on okay. Now you will see the point we have added. Go to the point data we have selected, it is added here. And now I will add the shape file for this area. And uh, now we can able to see this fall in actually that place. Now we need to convert this into shape file format. This is in still in CSV file format. We need to convert in Excel file. Uh, we need to convert this in shape file format. For that, we need to just right click data and export data. Here I will select a folder. So in this folder I'm working. So this is my PRJ projected uh, groundwater level point. So just click on OK. So this it is converted into shape file. Now we need to do IDW. Okay, what is actually IDW? I will show you. Just go to Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there is an interpolation in the Spatial Analysis tool. Spatial Analysis tool, interpolation, and interpolation there is IDW. IDW stand for inverse distance weightage. Okay, so this inverse distance weightage technique we need to use. What it is doing IDW mostly. So this is an interpolation technique method where what it is doing from the known point, it is calculating the unknown point also. Okay. So from this known point, we are getting the unknown point also for this area. So how to create uh, that IDW before that we need to project our this projected file also and uh, our shape file also it should be projected. If you didn't create a shape file, so we can create a shape file also no problem. You just need to create a shape file for your study area. So just go to select the folder where you want to create a shape file new and shape file option is there. So here I will select a polygon and I will keep new shape file. Here I will provide a, my projected file. So this is a fall in 44 UTM zone. So I will provide a 44 UTM zone. So this is my 44 UTM zone. Okay. And okay. So now I have created this shape file, new shape file, start our editor, select new shape file, click on okay. After that, there is an option that is a create feature. Just need to create on create feature. You will see this create feature is added here. Just select the create feature and you can draw the manually. I'm roughly drawing here. If you have a shape file, proper shape, you can properly digitize it and just like saved it, stopped it. And now we need to project this. Uh, we have projected or not. We have provided a PRG name, but uh, we'll go to the properties. So this is in WGS 984. Okay. So we need to project at this. So to project this, we need to go to this toolbox, go to this data management. In the data management, there is a projection transformation raster. And, but to project this, we need a vector project. Okay. So this project in the projection and transformation project option is there just need to select this PRJ here and output location. So just provide actually previously I need to provide a name that is a GCS WGL, but that time I provided PRJ. So now I will provide here UTM GWL and I will click on save. And here I need to provide UTM zone projected coordinate system. Then UTM the plus 94 Northern Hemisphere and it is fallen 44. Just click on OK and click on OK. So the file is projected. So I'll go to the I'll refresh this. So this is my UTM groundwater level point. Okay. So this point we need to use. See now it is in projected file format. 
so this is in utm zone so previously if you'll check this this was in wgs 1984 okay so we need to project our file so this we don't want we'll remove this utm zone this also we don't want we want a shape file and this point data okay so we'll do idw just click on the r toolbox the spatial analysis tool in the spatial analysis tool interpolation and idw so input point feature so this is my utm point feature in the z we need to select for which month we want to prepare a groundwater level map so i will select a june here then just need to save here that is my idw for the june month just save and most important thing is environment i want idw as just shape what i have created my shape file so just go to environment output raster select as a my new shape this new shape then the processing extent is the same as a new shape and this raster analysis i want to cut this by new shape so just click on ok and ok so this way we can able to prepare our groundwater level map so now it is prepared if i take it up you will see so this area is having a little bit higher groundwater level as compared to others depth to water level so we can change color of it and i will check as a five okay so this way we have prepared june you can go for the july or different months what are the months you want to prepare same process the same just need to select a month and so i think i have select august then idw go to environment processing extent processing extent is the same as my new shape and processing extent new shape raster analysis i want to mask this just click on okay and click on okay so this way we can prepare different months also so what we need to do now just need to change the month and you can prepare for every month and now if you want to prepare the map layout you can go here and you can add in the this layout view and you can add north arrow legend title scale bar to this so this is very easy to this is very easy way to prepare the groundwater level map so this way you can prepare if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section so thank you for today